All right, filmmakers, I want to show you how you can use some effects. So if you're using Premiere Rush, down at the bottom, you'll see that there are a number of effects. We have graphics, effects, color, and speed, and also transform effects. So if you want to apply an effect, you're going to select your piece of footage. You might want to cut this down to just the amount that you want to affect. So I'm going to go ahead and make a few cuts of my footage here. And now I'm going to apply some effects. So let's say in this clip I want to slow it down. I can click on the speed button down at the bottom. And I can change it through a number of um, options. I can click on the range. I can make it slower by just stretching that out. Um, I could change it by changing the duration of the clip. You also have the opportunity to ramp kind of the beginning and end of it so it'll you know gradually change into that time change there or that speed change. You can also maintain the pitch of whatever audio is in there by clicking on and off there. My next clip here, I'm going to apply a color effect. So I select the clip, click on color, and I can choose from the presets here, or I can change things myself by clicking the sliders down below. To do these effects, You click on the effects button and there's transitions and motions now. So you can do an auto reframe where it'll kind of sense whatever's in the picture and reframe according to whatever it thinks is the best. Or you can do a pan and zoom. Now this is only going to work if you have something highlighted in your footage. Um, that I can kind of sense in the picture. My video frame here is a little too abstract, so it doesn't really have anything I can sense. And it's a pretty small, low quality clip. You can also do transitions, like dissolves or fade to black and white. We also have graphics. Now, graphics are kind of like an animation that'll happen at any time. So wherever your playhead, that blue line is, is where the graphic is gonna be. Usually you wanna have it on some sort of transition, um, but you also may want it to have, um, be like a title, which pops up from the bottom or something. So there's a bouncing transition with text. It has a slow motion function. And you can change the text however you want to. Well, I, hopefully, I hope this was helpful. Um, and keep up the good work and making amazing movies.